pushing the five into this place is a very good strategy and you, you also might push the five into the pocket or the five might go here and if the five goes this way the cue ball is going to go this way you make the three in the corner come up this way for the four five is already here beside the four so position play becomes easy okay so the best choice here is to intentionally hit the fine ball okay let's do it let's do it there you go that's perfect let's look at that five ball in front of the side pocket perfect angle on the three ball to come to the four ball i can just make a stop shot on the four easy shot on the five into the side pocket so there that is perfect i'm i'm very happy with that shot there's nothing else in life than pool play pool play pool hello welcome to another video and i have my new microphone saramonic blink and um, now i can be further away and talk normally and you can hear me instead of me having to yell at you okay so let's begin to play some pool and i have my new bracelets they are good for teaching it said so i'm going to use these for teaching because i'm going to teach you some pool first let's remove the cover I'm gonna go with this cover to the other room and my microphone is on at the same time. So now I'm in a completely different room and you can hear me. I'm closing the door. I'm going back to the pool table. And now I'm back. That's a very nice microphone I have, so you can hear you can hear everything I say, even when I'm not visible on the screen. So let me take off some dirt from the table. I haven't played for maybe a few months, I think. I made a lot of videos before and then i stopped because i was waiting for this this microphone here it is under my shirt where's my glove there's my glove and here's here i have to have the chalk here no here's my glove in the pocket this is that one is is the wrong chalk let's put on the glove always use a glove when you play pool especially in the summer when it's sweaty so many many players they uh, they play good in the winter but in the summer they play very bad because they don't use a glove but if you use a glove you play more consistently throughout uh, the seasons and i have beat many good players in the summer that i lost uh, against in in the winter time just because just because i'm using a glove i don't know why it's so dirty on, on the table I, I need to vacuum clean later here i don't know where it came from because i had the cover on the entire time while well when i was not playing May, maybe the cover itself was dirty and the table became dirty when I put the cover on. So let's start, okay. Let me rack the balls. Rack the balls and always when you haven't played the pool for a long time, you play really bad in the beginning. So you must focus, you must focus a lot into not making a mistake because when you make the first mistake, you lose your confidence you start to play worse and worse and we're going to play nine ball here because uh, if you start with something difficult 
if you start with something difficult, then you lose your confidence quite easily. And I will need to check which ball is the cleanest. I want to play with the cleanest ball here. And these are quite uh, equal, equally clean. So I haven't cleaned the balls for a, for a long time, so I've got to clean them. But first, let's play the first rack here. Uh, this, this, this is a good uh, lesson for you. If you if you are in a similar situation when you haven't played for a long time and how how will you be able to win I have my dot here that I place on the table to to show the position I want to stop the cue ball in but when I used that before it was uh, distracting for me Let's play. Chalk the cue. Always chalk with uh, three brushes. Three brushes of the chalk. And rotate the cue 60 degrees. 60 degrees between every brush. That way you brush the entire tip. Because you brush uh, the entire length. The entire diameter of the tip. So you only need to brush three times if you rotate the cue 60 degrees between every brush. Okay, so let's begin. I will break the balls. And you don't want to break too hard if you haven't played for a long time. Just make a me medium, medium, medium uh, speed in the break shot and follow through with the cue all the way to the pack. Yeah, I, I hit that pretty good. I hit it quite straight. The, the, I'm happy about that, but now look at the one ball. The one ball is blocked behind the three balls. So what will I do now? This, this is a very tough shot here. I could make a push out here, but uh, uh, by the way, I, I, I'm making ice cream in the kitchen. So I'm waiting for that. So I might need to go there to turn off the machine soon. But I, will, I, will ho I hope that I can make uh, one, play one rack here before I need to get the ice cream. So this is a really tough shot. You, need, re you really need to focus here and not make any mistakes here in, in the beginning. So you need to take your time. Always take your time. If you haven't played for a couple months, you take your time. And uh, you really don't want to make any mistake. Okay, and if you succeed in making a tough shot, you get a very, you get, you get a big boost in confidence when you succeed. So that is very important that it, that it might happen. So let me make, a, I need to make a kick shot or a push out. I want to make a kick shot here because look at this. Uh, if I make the one ball, I, I, I have a good shot on, on the, on the two ball, I think. If I get a little angle on the on the one ball, the cube ball is going to go this way and I will have a shot on the two ball. If I miss the kick shot, I might leave a safety for the opponent because there's a six ball here, there's a three ball there. Anything can happen if, 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 if the one ball misses the, the pocket here. So I'm going to go for it and I will use enough speed that if I miss the pocket, the one ball will, will go further away from the cue ball to get some distance between the balls. So here I'm going to use low right spin, like a stop shot into the rail. Low right spin, a stop shot into the rail. Whoops, you see? Oh, I was un unlucky there. That was a bad, bad luck. I could have got aw away with this, this shot if the cue ball would have gone that way but it hit the four ball and stopped it hit the four ball very full that is why the cue ball stopped there but so let's continue that uh, that ended quite badly there 
Here is a tough shot because the seven is in the way of the two balls. So if I go one, two rails, I must stop behind the seven. So this is a risky shot. I, what I, the good thing here is that when you go this way with the cue ball, you might hit the seven and the seven will go into the side pocket. So it will go out of the way. So that's the positive thing that can happen if you go that way. And you might go this way between the seven and the rail come out perfectly for the two ball. You might hit the seven on the top side, get a good position on the two ball, but you, you might also scratch in, in the side pocket. And if you shoot this very soft to go this way with the cue ball, uh, you might get behind the seven here if you, if you hit the one ball too thin. But I think I need to, let's see. I, need, I will go with speed here, just to stop somewhere there. Okay, that is the best choice. I don't want to go between the rail and the seven. Oh, I hit it too hard. Oh, I was, that, that was not good. That was a bad shot, but I got away with that. Just ba barely missed the side pocket. Just barely missed it. Now comes an interesting shot. I'm going to go this way with the cue ball. One rail, two rails, and here for the three ball. If I go too far, I can make the three ball there and go one rail up for this four ball. If I come this way, um, I have this angle on the three ball, I can go one rail for the four ball. But preferably I want to be somewhere here on, on the three ball to go just, just straight up for the four. If I'm here on the three ball, and I need to go this way, I might get stuck behind the five because I'm uh, crossing, I'm crossing this, this line here, this queue and you need good speed control if you want to choose that path but if you go this, this way, you don't need good speed control because you can stop there, 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 there and you have a shot on the four but if you go this way, you must stop here on the four so I'm going to play position I want to hit the rail somewhere in this, this spot because then I, then I already have, let's see, no, I want to hit the rail this part and then come out from the rail here and, ha and have the angle on the three ball. To make that happen, I need to, I need to hit, the, I need to go very close to the, to the five here, okay, to hit the rail here and then come out from the rail here. So I need to hit at least this spot or a little higher and that's a very tough shot and also there's something you, you can you might hit the five if you hit the five full you stop here with the cue ball and then you have that angle on the three like you wanted and also the five will go out of the way so if you play position for the four ball it is impossible to stop behind the five because the five is out of the way so the best choice here is to intentionally hit the five on the way out from the rail. You hit the five, uh, even if you hit on the, on the bottom side, uh, behind the five here, the five, will, the five will be pushed over here. And you will have a shot on the three ball anyway. So you will just want to focus on hitting the five. Even if you miss the five, the cue ball will go this way and stop over here and you, have a, you are perfect on the three ball. Okay, and if you hit the, the, the bottom, the, the, if you hit the five uh, behind it, instead of uh, in front of it, then the five it might stop here and you have a great position here uh, into the corner and the six is right beside so it becomes very easy after the five. So five, six, seven in the side, nine in the corner and the, and the game is over. Okay, so pushing the five into this place is a very good strategy. And you, you also might push the five into the pocket or the five might go here and if the five goes this way, the key ball is going to go this way you make the three in the corner, come up this way for the four. Five is already here beside the four, so position play becomes easy, okay? So the best choice here is to intentionally hit 
the fine board. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do this. I use a little bit of a low right, not too much, just a little bit. Yeah. Oh, I hit it too full. And you see, I got good angle on the three into the corner, but I need to, I will make it, try to make it again. Try to, I will try to aim it better this time. Need to hit it a little thinner this time, yeah. There you go, that's perfect, that's, look at that. Five ball in front of the side pocket, perfect angle on the three ball to come to the four ball. I can just make a stop shot on the four, easy shot on the five into the side pocket. So there, that is perfect. I'm, I'm very happy with that shot. Now I will just go one rail up for the four. You can just stop anywhere in this, on this line, anywhere. So speed control is not important here. Just get a good angle out from the rail. Here I use a top right spin. Oh, you see that I'm really playing bad here. I haven't played for a few months. When you need to reach the shot, it becomes tough. You really need to rely on uh, strategy a lot. Now I went too far with the cue ball. I'm still okay. I'm still okay. But now it's, a, it's quite a tough shot here. I need to use top left spin to change, change the angle from the rail to come this way. Otherwise the cue ball will go this way. And if, I'm he, if I stop here on the five, I'm going to scratch in the side pocket when making the five in the corner. So I want to be on, on this side of the, five, of the five ball. Now I need to make a tough shot. The, the good thing here is that if I miss the shot, if I miss the four ball, cue ball will stop here four ball might stop here and the, the nine is in the way. So that is what I'm, the, the backup plan I'm thinking about. I, even if I miss, the opponent might not get a good shot. Here I use top left spin. Oh, yep, yeah, I made it, good. I made it, now it is quite easy. Look at the pattern play here. Five in the side, six in the corner, seven in the side, or seven in the corner. And then roll it forwards, nine in the corner so here what i use here is i use left spin here to get like a draw, draw effect on the cue ball if, because if i use center ball the cue ball will end up going this way i want to i want the cue ball to go more to the more backwards and you can use a draw shot but it, it is very difficult to use a soft draw shot much much easier to use uh, left spin just pure left spin here like that and now the keyboard went backwards after contact so instead of stopping there the keyboard stopped there just because of the left spin okay and now i just want to get into the angle for the seven and i'm using just a little bit of top spin just a hair of left spin just a hair of left spin and here i i, I intentionally shot that softer than normally because uh, I wasn't, I, I wasn't comfortable with the, I'm not comfortable with cue ball control right now because I haven't played for a long time. So now just roll it in, pure top spin here, pure top spin. And there you go. And now I, I have a good position on the nine. So there you go, and I, I missed uh, two easy shots there. I shouldn't have missed them. But you see the great st strategy you can use in the beginning that you intentionally hit the five and the entire table just uh, became easy after, after that shot. Let's make another rack. So uh, you can make it really easy, just if you think about uh, what can happen. What can happen when uh, you play? I will make. I will, I will have a side side rail 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 bridge here, rail bridge, and I will follow through the queue all the way to the one ball. 
like that. I hit it quite straight and I didn't use any effort. I just focused on following it through the queue all the way to the one ball. And I automatically got uh, power on the bridge, on the brake shot. Now the eight ball, I'm looking at the eight. The eight is a tough, tough ball because the nine is in the way. So here I will play a position for the three ball. I want a little angle on the three. I don't want to be straight in on the three because the four is over here. So I want angle on the three to go one rail here for the four and the five is in a good place here. Just make the five one rail position for the, for the seven and you have good angle on the seven here to go one rail, two rails for the eight ball. So I want to be here on the seven. I, it is very important you have angle on the seven because then you can get to the eight ball. If you are straight in on the seven or somewhere here and you try to draw back the cue ball here, the nine is blocking the eight. You don't want that. You want to, you want to have angle on the seven ball here. So you need to look at the five, the four and the five. Uh, so you can, you can follow, follow the cue ball just a, just a little bit after the four to have angle on the five. Make it in the corner, hit the rail there, and then you have angle on the seven to come to the eight ball. Okay, so we have, we have planned the entire rack. Now I just need to get position for, for the three somewhere in this spot. Whoops, I need to go to the ice cream machine. I'm at, at the ice cream machine, I'm unplugging the ice cream machine. Very good that uh, you can hear me when I, when I do that. This, this microphone is really good. Now I'm back. Let's continue the game. It is a lot quieter now without the machine. Let me play position. I want to be almost straight in on the four. I, I don't want angle. The worst, worst thing here is to have angle on the four because then you need to go two rails with the cube and the five is being blocked by the eight. So you, you want to be straight in on the four here. You don't want to have angle on the four. You want to be straight in there. The problem here is that you might scratch in the side pocket if you go too far with the cue ball. So you want to attempt to be a little lower here so it is further away from, from the side pocket. Okay, let me do this. Little bit of right spin here. Ooh, I hit that too thin. I hit that too thin. I'm okay. I'm okay. And this is a good, I'm, I'm, I'm okay here, uh, preferably I would have been, would, I would not have liked this angle because with a stop shot, keyboard will end up frozen to the rail here. So let's look at the angle here. I want the keyboard to go a little, one, one ball length uh, forwards after the contact. So I need to make uh, I need to make something here, um, a draw skill shot, a draw skill shot where the cue ball is drawn. It is like the cue ball is drawn to this spot and then it will start rolling forwards naturally and hit the four and just go forwards just a little bit after the contact. But if you use a soft roll shot, the cue ball is going to roll, roll forwards over here and you don't want that. You, you want the cue ball to stop just a little lower than the four. So you, you need to use a draw skill shot. So what you are doing is you are aiming to make a stop shot at this location. You are, you are focusing on, you are, you are imagining that the ball is uh, higher up and you are making a stop shot over here. So that's what I'm doing. Choke the cue when you make a draw shot. And let's do this. Yeah, something like that. That is okay. I, even if I had hit that harder, the keyboard would not have gone further forwards after the contact. So you, you, don't, you don't need good speed control when you make the draw skill shot. Because if you shoot too soft, 
you, you get less speed on the keyboard so it doesn't travel forwards as much. If you shoot harder, you get more like a stop shot if you shoot harder. If you shoot extra hard, you get a stop shot, okay? If you shoot even harder, you get a draw shot, okay? So with, when you use low on the keyboard, the keyboard will never, never roll forwards too much after the contact. But if you use a normal soft roll shot, the keyboard is going to roll too much too, too much forwards and you don't have a shot on the five. But now I have a good shot, good angle on the five ball. And I'm too close to the rail here, so what I need to do is I, I must use top spin. I can't use a draw shot here, so I must use top spin and I must use le left spin, left spin to change the angle like this instead of the keyboard going this way. I want the angle on the seven ball on the seven ball into the corner it is very critical because then I, I can go one rail two rails for the eight in the side pocket so here I'm going to use top left spin whoa I made it it, it is going pretty good I, I haven't played for many months and I think I'm going to run I might run this rack if I'm I need to be very careful here, so I run this rack. But now I can go one rail. One rail here for the eight here. Here the risky thing is I might scratch in the side here. And if I uh, if I don't if I try to avoid the scratch, I might come too short for the eight, and then I, I have a really tough shot on the eight in the corner, a tough cut shot, and I don't want that either. And I would preferably be somewhere in this area here. So I'm painting a picture in my mind that there's a ring here. I want to stop somewhere inside this ring. If I fail, I'm still okay here. If I go this way, I'm still okay. If I come too short, it is okay here. So this kind of ring is where I want to stop the cue ball in, in that ring. And I'm going to take this dot here. There, there's a ring around here. And anywhere, a little further down here, somewhere there, anywhere in this ring is where I want to stop the cue ball in. And that's a quite a big target. And that will avoid the risk of scratching in the side pocket. And it will, it will avoid coming too far or coming too short. So this kind of ring is where I want to stop the cue ball in. So let me try this. I'm focusing on the, on the dot here. I'm focusing on stopping the cue ball on the dot. If I fail, I should be inside this ring, okay? Low left spin. There's the ring, there's the dot here. There's a dot. Woo! I hit the dot, I can't believe it, I hit the dot. I'm inside this ring, just barely inside this ring. Very nice. And now the final shot. Here you want to avoid uh, stopping get, getting frozen to the rail here so hit the keyboard a little harder and come out from the rail so you can stroke e easier with the with the cue here i use a top left spin yeah my, my stroke is really not good at all I'm, I'm not feeling so comfortable here with my stroke but i'm still i still was able to run the rack here just the final ball little bit of left spin here yeah Woo. I ran the rack I ran the rack so this is the end of the video I hope you enjoyed this instructional video where you can win even when you play bad so I could run the second rack I could run the first rack I could not I made two easy easy misses so I shouldn't have missed those but then I got warmed up in the second rack and then I was still not playing that good but I, I still ran the rack because I, I used my mind to use the best strategy to win okay so this is the end of the video I will see you next time goodbye there's nothing else in life than pool play pool play pool